Hello friends, welcome to PLC Programming Tutorials. In these tutorials, we are going to learn the basic principles of the PLC and also the PLC programming. So let's begin our first lesson that is basic PLC concepts. So what is PLC? PLC stands for Programmable Logic Controller. The controller means the hardware, the electronic circuit, the logic means the program that we install in the hardware in order to control it according to our need and the programmable means to reprogram the hardware according to the work which we have to take on out from the hardware so what are the logics there are different logics on which the plc are programmed the first one is the ladder logic in which the ladder diagrams are made to program the plc and uh, the second one is the block functional block diagrams in which the block diagrams are made to program the plc the third one is the sequential function charts in which different graphs are made to program the plc and uh, the fourth one is the sequential coding logic in which different c++ programs are made to program the plc so there are different logics on which the plc are programmed so in the upcoming videos we are going to learn the ladder logic and we are going to make programs on the ladder logics so let's move forward so where plc is used suppose in a factory there is a water tank and this worker wants to fill this tank so what he will do simply he will turn on the inlet wall of the tank to fill the tank and if he wants to empty the tank simply he turns on this wall to empty the tank and the whole water will be drained out so but this whole process is done manually but if he wants to do or the company wants to do this process automatically then it will install plc in this process simply the electronic circuit in which we have fed the program will read the situation and then turns on this inlet wall and the whole tank will be filled and when it is required it will read the situation according to the algorithm which is fed into it and when the water should be drained out it will automatically turn on this outlet wall and the whole water will be drained out this is a simple process but there are hundreds of thousands of different processes in the factory where the plc are used for different purposes types of plc there are different types of plc depending upon the load which we have connected at the output if we have connected a heavy load like a three phase motor or single phase motor we simply use the plc that can be operated at the line voltage or if we want to run a small load then we simply use dc voltage 24 volts plc so this line and this line voltage or dc voltage is applied at the input and both the input and output of the plc so let's move forward and let's see the wiring for the plc so first of all we are going to see the input wiring for the plc so there are two types of input wiring so the first one is when the plc is syncing so when the 24 volts is connected with the one of the inputs and the common is connected with the zero volt then the plc is said to be sinking because the 24 volts is entering in the input the flow of current is towards the input and uh, the push button is said to be sourcing switch because it is sourcing the plc and the plc is sinking so Another type is sourcing the PLC. So when the zero volt is connected with one of the inputs through a push button 
and uh, 24 volts is connected with the common then the PLC is sourcing because 24 volts are coming out from one of the inputs and uh, push button is said to be sinking push button because it is allowing the flow of current to flow towards the zero volt so i hope you have understand that when 24 volts is connected with one of the inputs then the plc is sinking and when the 24 volts is connected with the common then the plc is sourcing similarly there are two types of output wiring that when 24 volts is connected with one of the input then the plc output is said to be sinking and uh, when 24 volts is connected with the common then the plc is said to be sourcing and uh, keep one thing in mind that whatever is connected at the common it is internally connected with the output that is in this case the common is internally connected with the y0 and this situation also similar in the input that common is connected internally with the one of the inputs so this is the end of our lesson one and i hope that you have understand it so see you in the next video thanks for watching